Hey, it's Nick. In this video, I'm going to show you one thing that helped me get into an Ivy League school, create a seven-figure business, and ultimately create my ideal environment. So here's what we're going to look at. Everybody has an idea of where they want to go. And there are people on three different scales, three different levels of what I would call awareness. We have level one, which is where a lot of people are. They have no idea what works. They have no idea what it actually takes to get the result they want. We have level two, which is they have an idea of what works, but there is still something missing. They are uh, incorrectly assessing what it actually takes. And then you have people who truly understand what works because they've maybe done it before or they've been lucky enough to be in an environment where people are doing it every single day. So <clears throat> this is something that was relevant, whether it was getting into an Ivy League school, whether it was building a business, whether it was, you know, getting healthy. And we'll go ahead and look at examples from each one. So when we look at this, we have effort, energy, and efficiency. So depending on your skill level, the amount of effort and energy to get something done is going to be less, right? But if your skill level is very low, it's going to take you a lot more effort, energy to get something done. So Initially, when people are getting started with something, they underestimate the amount of e effort, energy it's going to take them because of their skill level. You know, here's an example. Let's just say you have someone in the gym and they're working out seven days a week for hours and hours a day and they're working really, really hard. And after three months, four months, five months, six months, they're not getting any results or they're getting very, very little results. The fact is they're probably doing something wrong. Whether their workout regimen isn't correct, which is probably true if, if, if they have never worked out before. But number two is they're probably not eating the right things, right? Just by shifting that one thing, the food and the nutrition, we hear that nutrition is 70% of the deal when you're doing some type of transformation in the gym or uh, you know, with fitness. And I could say that for myself because when I used to be a D1 athlete, I used to get extremely uh, ripped, like I'm talking four or 5% body fat. And, um, it was something where I could do it pretty quickly, you know, 60, 90 days, 120 days, I can go from like looking normal to extremely shredded because I knew exactly what to do. I knew exactly how many calories to eat. I knew exactly how to work out. I knew exactly how to go ahead and make sure I was in a uh, deficient, right? So the same is also equivalent with business or marketing. So let me give you an example. Here's an example of uh, one of the processes that I used in one of the newer businesses that I built. Um, so far, it's done about 1.3 uh, million. And basically, when I look at this and I go back over here, I have this process of you know introducing people to a product, an idea, right? And what people don't understand is the amount of effort it takes someone to actually go to get someone who doesn't know about you to eventually know about you and, and what that actually looks like. So let me actually zoom into this a little bit. So let's just say, and everybody's aware that things are sold on social media, but I want to give you uh, a real life example um, that is true for me right now. So let's just say everybody knows, yeah, you, you go ahead and uh, grow on social media, whether it's YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, et cetera. And you know, someone meets you and then they go to your website and then they just go ahead and become a lead and then they buy something, you know, and they could take this one path, right? It's very seamless. Like if they just happen to go from a lead to a purchase, but in reality, that's not going to happen for the majority of people. What's going to happen is they're going to become a lead and then basically they're going to go ahead and have to, you know, be educated or, you know, you're going to have to build trust or, uh, reality with the person uh, for weeks, months, even potentially years. The other thing is this, there's a part in here that has ads, right? And this is something that I realized is when I first started to run ads and I got into marketing, which was a long time ago, you know, it's uh, about seven years, eight years ago now, I had an idea of what it took to run an ad and get a client, an idea of what it took to actually go ahead and, um, make someone buy something and, and the amount of effort it took in terms of creating ads. And at first I was underestimating it. I was making one new ad and expecting miracles to happen. And then I realized 
after I hung out and paid to be in a mastermind, I met somebody that was making 30, 40, $50,000 a day. And I worked with them and basically they went ahead and showed me, Hey, look, you're underestimating your amount of effort. You're not doing the right type of ads. So, you know, you need to put more energy into this. And, you know, right now what you're doing is not extremely efficient, but it's what it takes to get uh, the job done as time goes on. And we go back to this deal over here. We could actually go ahead and look at one of the hidden pieces to this, which is actually your approach and the action that you take in your attitude. Now, <clears throat> whether it's in business, money, you know, uh, even relationships or health, we, we have these three things that are involved. And, and this is obviously something that's going to affect this right here. You know, attitude. If you go into something like, for example, losing weight, you know, and you are expecting to not do very well and uh, break your habit, you're going to go ahead and have the wrong attitude. Then we have the actual approach here, which would be the skill set. So the skill set that's used to get the job done is something where maybe you don't even realize what you're doing that's wrong. And then we have the action, so the, the, the actual activity of, of doing it, right? We can't get the results unless we're taking steps uh, to move forward. So depending on these different variables, you know, you're going to have to adjust effort, energy, and uh, it's going to vary for the, the amount of efficiency uh, that it takes you to get a task done or get a result done. And depending on that, you know, you might get results in two months. You know, if you kind of know what works, you might get it results in 12 months. If you have no idea what you're doing, it might take 12 years. But understand this, this is something that you can control and it is something that you can actually uh, put attention on to uh, move forward in those different areas that you want to accomplish something. And every time I'm not getting a result, I ask myself, where am I truly at on this? Do I have an idea of what works or do, do I actually know? If I don't know, what do I have to do to get educated on this? What are the subjects that I need to study and learn to become proficient at whatever it is I'm trying to accomplish?